never done this before. I'm acting like I've never done this before. Okay. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel. Let's pack the makeup for tour, baby. Hello, it's Trixie Mattel. No, I'm not in drag. I'm out of drag. It's the day before I leave for tour and I thought I'm about to repack my tour bag. I'm about to see what I can fit in this little bag and I, don't, I think I'm being too ambitious here. I think my last tour, I went really bare bones and this tour now I'm feeling like I wanna bring more makeup. So I don't know. I feel like we all go through like phases where sometimes we wanna bring a big makeup bag and make getting ready like a luxury or we wanna be just like, concise. So I guess let's rebuild the makeup bag from scratch and we're going to talk about what products are going to continue on the tour and what products have either run out, gotten used up, or I just wasn't happy with so I'm swapping it out. So let's get started. So the makeup bag I took in the last tour was this Leopara bag. It is so fierce. The bottom of it has a lighting kit and this little clear acrylic container that I end up putting my pencils in so they sit up straight. Dude, this is an amazing product. This is like my favorite makeup bag I've ever had in my 15 years of doing drag. What I also like about it is that it's not that big. And let's be honest, like I don't need to be packing more makeup than this. On this last tour, I brought this and it was just, it was fine. I just had to think smart a little bit, which I'm not, not always smart, but. So let's start with some of the products that are going back on tour. The Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder. God, I love this. Look at this. I use this the entire Trixie and Katya America and all of Grown Up EU. And look at, I have all of this left. So we're taking this. Um, we're taking the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair Light. We also, I mean, I kind of set the darker parts of my face with this and the lighter parts with this. Maybe it does nothing. I don't know. Pencils. Now my lip situation on tour is I have a bunch of body paints and lipsticks depotted here. And then I bring a bunch of pencils. Let's be honest, I end up using the same things every day. But let's see what I bring. All right, so the main pencils I roll with are these Makeup Forever pencils. I just think they're the best. They, they sharpen really well. The consistency's good. They wear good. Put these little babies in here. So the other pencils, I kind of have like a whole thing here. I also use... Big fan of these Urban Decay pencils. I mean, I always got a couple of these, these 24 seven liners, really, really good. Uh, one of my all time favorite products of all time, absolutely zero negotiation. I have to have this product. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I use these in espresso and brunette. And look how great to draw just little like, you know, little brow hairs. Cause I mean, my brows are so crazy and drag, but I at least like when you get close to me, I like to see little like, <laughs> I always got these. I got a bunch of little liners that aren't gonna make it anymore. Uh, this, look how little this Mac Sore pencil is. That's going to heaven. Goodbye. This Makeup Forever pencil is, I already replaced it. Gotta go. Spice lip pencil. I mean, look how little it is. Not using it. The Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Almond Rose. I am taking it. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, hate it. I don't know, I don't know what. I hate this thing. I hate this thing, it just dries out to me. All right, so the baby pencil I threw away was actually Boundless Berry, brand new one. I use this truly every single day. It's it's my favorite lip liner. And then I got a bunch of, uh, I got a bunch of these About Face liners. I haven't tried these yet. I have, that's a lie. I've actually tried them. I've tried a few of them. I haven't tried these ones. So I'm gonna bring these. I'm trying to get better at using what gets sent to me instead of just repurposing and repurchasing. Like, I feel like as a makeup company owner, it's my job to know what the tea is. And so I should really always be trying to use more and more, you know? And I don't know, I get, I get really sick of the same makeup, same everything on tour every day. And so sometimes makeup pencils and stuff are the only way you can really like change your vibe. I do, I, there's a few orange liners here and I do really get into orange liner. I really do. Because I really get into wearing model actress from Trixie Cosmetics. I mean, look at this thing. Vegan bright orange like this. Ugh. There's a part in the show where I do hello, hello, and I'm in all this black and white, this black and white outfit, and I have this loud orange mouth, and I just feel very cool. I love the about face packaging. I think that Halsey, the artist Halsey, does a really good job. So all these little bad boys, I'm gonna add these. I know this looks like a lot of pencils, but I, I use a lot of pencils. They're easy. I mean, they get misplaced easily. It's nice to have a few different of each color. What do I got here? This is this Jason Wu lip pencil. Stay in line. I thought this looked kind of intriguing. Mm, it's a little light for me. We'll take it. <laughs> Listen, I like lip pencils, all right? I'm not gonna feel bad about it. All right, so I had the CoverGirl liquid liner in Traceless Black, I think. I mean, it's fine. It's just, it's, it was more of a use what you have situation. So I'm retiring this. And today at CVS, I picked up the That's The Point liner from NYX. This is like, whew, you guys. This is one of my favorite liners. The only problem with it is it 
it's often not available. It's often sold out at my CVS anyway. Look at it, it's a big chisel. Isn't that amazing? Like, oh, for me to do my big liner with a marker that can go on that thick, I can't even tell you. It's just, it's it's really life changing. I'm also gonna take the That's the Tip liner in Hella Fine, which is a super fine point version of this. That way, when I do the, the makeup, I can use the big liner and then touch it up with the little baby liner. This is empty. I bought an empty. Okay. Love it. Luckily I bought two. This one sounds like there's something in there. Okay. Yeah, this is a super fine tip. Look at that. I like that. I'm also gonna take the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lash Enhancing Liquid Liner. I really like the CoverGirl Exhibitionist line. It's just really, really good product. Look at how black that is. Oh, look how black that is. So these three liners should get me, I mean, my tour is, this tour is 30 days, these three. She get me through, get me through the gig. All right, so for liquid lipsticks, I do use a few regularly. The Maybelline Vinyl Lipstick, oh my God, and Peachy. Oh my God, look how beautiful that is. That with like a deep brown liner, oh my God. You're killing me. I got the Model Actress Lipstick, the orange from Trixie Cosmetics. I got this Huda Beauty and Sugar Mama. Oh, yes. The only problem with these is they kind of, they smell, they smell a little odd. Strapless, stay, we, we did this in the UK makeup video, which you can watch here, the newest UK one. And I really liked this shade, so we're taking this too. All right, now I can feel myself hoarding. This is already too many though. There's three more lipsticks in here. This MAC liquid and personal statement. See, I do like that though. Let's take it, whatever, whatever. I love this kimchi lipstick. This is in 19. Look how pretty that is, but to be honest, on tour, I only used it like twice. I don't know why this is so hard. You know what? It's either that or Loyalist. Which one should I bring? Oh, I like them both. These are so similar. Whatever, we're just gonna bring them both. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Glue stick, duh. The KBD Whiteout Gel Liner. This is my favorite white liner until somebody comes out with a white liner. I don't know who could be working on one, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the Maybelline Lasting Drama in black with a black liner as a backup. I'm gonna bring this Sigma liner in black. Wicked gel eyeliner, I'm gonna bring those. I got my Bestie Balm. This is great to go before makeup. This is great to just on the dry, dry lips. All right, so for primer, I was using the... There was a really fancy face primer I was using and I'm ready to just try something else. So I grabbed I grabbed the Secure the Blur from one size. I actually have not used this, but I wanna, I wanna use it. So let's use it. And then I got the Elf Dunkin' Donuts primer and I use this kind of on my nose or like the really high texture areas of my face. I also use it out of drag. It has kind of a modifying effect. Look at this. You see that? It just kind of blurs. It's kind of good. I like it. I'm going to take it. This glitter I used once on tour, but I aspire to use it more. This is Iridescent White from MAC. This is like my favorite white glitter. I'm just going to bring it. I think if I bring it, I'll use it. For foundation, for the last like three months, I've been wearing the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I just really like it and it comes in this nice light tube. You know I love Superstay, but it's glass and it's a really big bottle. These are nice and small. The Kimchi The Most Concealer, I, you guys know I use this all the time and I still don't know what shade it is. It says peachy. It's a really, really light off-white peach, super useful. All right, I have two mascaras that were on this tour, Sky High and this Care Bears Wet n Wild one. Those are gonna go to heaven. And I picked up the ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I've not actually tried it, but I'm usually not into lengthening mascaras, I'm gonna be honest, but we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Sharpener, this little Alcone sharpener. I mean, this is, oh God, this had to be up just a few bucks. It's amazing. The Heavy Metal Liner from Urban in Midnight Cowboy. I just, I will use this once in a while. It's just like a really soft gold glitter liner. I'll bring it. I do use it, whatever. I'm gonna retire this acrylic paint. I, I actually really like acrylic paint from MAC, but I, it's very drying. And on tour, where I'm gonna make up five days a week, I really can't be using this. It, it really is not made for your eyes, so I really need to relax. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna take this Level Up ColourPop mascara. I think I'm gonna take this Maybelline Curl, Curl and Bounce mascara, because it looks like it's from the Colossal line, which is, yeah, I think I'm gonna like that more. I've not tried this, so let's take this. The other item I used a lot on the last tour that is going with me, this is the About Face Illuminating Body Cream. You guys, this mixed with foundation, mixed with hand lotion. See that? 
And I wear self-tanner on tour, and then when I mix this with lotion and put it over, you guys, my skin is like, whew, I look, it looks, you look like a doll, really. It's amazing. So I'm gonna take this, and I've used it every day for months, and there's still a lot left. So now let's talk more about some of the stuff that's gonna go with me from my palettes. This palette is a bunch of the OCC full coverage foundations in pans. This has really worked for me other than I'm really about to run out of these. So because I'm about to run out of these, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take some good apple foundations because I, I know I'm gonna run out of these. So I have the colors tan 68, light 12, light 15, light 21, and tan 72. And I think I'm just gonna take these. I don't know where I'm, I might put them in this bag with all my palettes because I think I'm just gonna start to run out of like, these are gonna start to empty out and I don't wanna hunt for makeup. So we are gonna take these. I think I'm gonna take the Kim Chi and Plastic Tiara collab. This is pretty old, but this is brand new and I've, I've not used it. I think it, I'm hoarding. I'm not bringing it, I'm hoarding. I'm literally hoarding. You do not bring the palette that you will, is really beautiful, which I'll probably use twice. Stop, 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 stop. Just stop. I'm bringing the About Face eyeshadow fluid eye paint in white. And I'm also bringing the one in like soft pink. You guys know how I love to do like a soft pink lid. And I think if I mix these together, the pink and the white, like, oh, see, I really, are these gonna be opaque enough though? These are not gonna be opaque enough. These aren't opaque enough. Let's see what the white looks like. I don't know, you guys, I don't know. We're not bringing these. I'm sorry for drag, these aren't gonna work. Good thing I swatched those right now. We're not gonna take these. What else do we have in the palettes? So I got a Z palette here that has a bunch of blushes. It has a La Femme black. It has a Sugar Pill white. These are two Anastasia shadows in dark brown and I believe truffle. Full Fuchsia blush from MAC. Peaches from MAC. This is an old Sugar Pill shadow. I think this is Suburbia. Look how dirty it is. I need to clean this. UV pink from Krylon. And then this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighter. It's pretty much my whole face and eye palette on tour. I mean, I just end up doing the same kind of thing every day. I got my face powder palette. This is all Makeup Forever pressed powders. This is a Too Faced, what is it called? Born This Way pressed foundation. And that is a, this is MAC Shivering White, yeah. But between this and this, you guys pretty much just do my whole face with this every single day. It's just, it's just easy to have everything together like that, you know? And this is a glitter palette from Lemonhead. This is their pro palette. It's huge, I'll never run through it, but on tour I actually end up using this a lot because on the big, big stages, I like having like whoosh, glitter. So I am bringing a few new things this time because I did get slightly bored with my products last time because I didn't bring enough. I'm gonna bring this Norvina Pro Pigment Palette. I think this is number six. See, I think that will help me feel, feel joy in my life. Don't you think? Or am I being crazy? Just bring it, just bring it, just bring it. Don't fight about it. I got all my lipsticks and my, my body paints, of course. I got a few out of drag items here. I'm gonna bring this Turn Up The Base BB Cream. I really like this, I have it on today. I got this Resting Bare Face Cleansing Balm. I think this might be nice to get out of drag. I don't know, I'm just trying to switch it up, folks. I got so many lashes backed up right now, and I, you know, on tour, I really like cut them up and do stuff with them. So I got the Bad Girl and Sad Girl Lashes from Trixie Cosmetics. I got the Prados Beauty Lashes in, I think, Indigi Girl Summer. Work. These are huge. So I know I'm gonna cut these up, probably put them on the bottom. I got these Care Bears Face Gems. I don't know, one night on tour, I might get bored. You guys don't know what I'm doing, okay? I got the Sugar Pull Barbie Lashes in Malibu. Let's do this. I got the Care Bear Lashes in Wish Big. Let's let's do this. I just thought if I bring this stuff, I'll actually use it. And if it sits here at the house, I'm not using it. If I'm not taking this stuff on tour to wear it in front of people, what am I saving it for? What is that weird like makeup saving, makeup hoarding instinct? I don't know. I got this Care Bear sponge here in Always Care A Lot. Let's, I have to say, Wet n Wild, if you're watching this, I thought your Care Bear sponges were some of the best sponges you did. These are really, really cool. I'm not a huge setting spray person, but Wet n Wild sent me this miniature setting spray and I think I might actually use it because it's miniature. Because I love like the one size, like this, this mist. I love a lot of these big ones, but then it's like this whole thing in a suitcase, you guys. I gotta take minis. Minis gotta do it. I also thought this was really beautiful from a PR video we did very recently. This is the Sigma New Mod Palette. Look how pretty that is. I really want to take it, but I'm, am I hoarding? Am I hoarding? Is this hoarding? It's just, don't tell Brandon. Speaking of stuff, we don't tell Brandon. I got the three Care Bear, uh, the blush, the highlighter, and the bronzer from Care Bears. I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. And I don't wanna hear about it. I don't wanna hear from you guys about it, okay? Like, I wish I had the time to actually depot these because if I could put these in a palette, I'd feel a lot less guilty. That's all I'm gonna say. 
Speaking of palettes, I'm actually gonna bring this About Face palette this time. I think I can fit it like in the bottom part of this as like a tool section. Because when I do wanna use glitters or I wanna mix colors, I, I don't have anywhere to put anything. So I'm just gonna bring that. So I got all my palettes here. I got pretty much all my tour makeup fits in here, which is pretty amazing. I'm probably gonna take all these lashes and like depot them. Um, you know, what? I'll show you how I do that actually. So I'm gonna take some of these lashes that I wanna use and I have just a clear box here that I got from Nigel's. And then you can just take like, I can open them quick and just like cut them out and throw them in here. Cause then they're protected, but I don't have to bring the full packaging. Cause like I said, I'm a lot more likely to cut these up anyway. Oh, you see that just fly away. Mm. See that? I'll just cut them up and put them in here on the little cards. Like I said, I use, I'm such a packaging nerd, but honestly, when push comes to shove, it needs to be travel friendly. And usually it means small, 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 you know? Which means if you guys see me doing beauty videos on the road and you see me pulling product out of like weird little jars, mind your business. See, this was in beautiful Trixie Cosmetics packaging and now it's this, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, see, sugar pill snapped on this Barbie packaging. It is so beautiful. See, I'm just gonna cut it out, cut it in half. This is a lot easier to travel with. Holy shit, Kratos Beauty, holy shit. This one's actually so big, this will be okay in here, to be honest. And then this, I like these little stones, but this is gonna be a lot easier for me to just cut up. See, that. If it's not like efficient, easy for me to use, my lazy ass will not use it. So I know now if I pull it off the packaging, I'm a lot more likely to actually use it. This is beautiful. If anybody did looks using these face gems, I wanna see it. Is it cool or is it? I haven't worn face gems since we did the Halloween Wet and Wild video on this channel. I haven't worn like gemstones on my face in that long. So look at that, I got all my lashes, my little stones, and now these can just go in here with the palettes, you know, and now I know where it is. Lastly, you can't put together a great look without brushes. And I went to Trixie Cosmetics and got a brand new brush roll with a complete brand new set. If you guys don't know, our brushes are just incredible. I can do my entire face every single night with these, zero shedding. No pigment gets stuck in the brush. They're full, they're soft, they're super high volume, and I mean, they're extremely affordable. Some of these eye brushes are $7. And on tour, I just have these two sides and I'll put the dirty ones in this side as I use them. And it's just super easy. We have three sets of these on tour, A, B, and C, and they just shuffle in and out. It's amazing. All right, so I got this clear bag with all my palettes. I got this Leopar bag with my makeup and I got my brushes. So I'm gonna go pack for tour. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I don't know, do you like these packing videos? I just think it's interesting for you guys to see what I actually take on the road and like push comes to shove and I'm in a corset sweating across the universe. Do you like seeing what I pack for things? If you don't, that's absolutely fine. But I'll see you next time on the channel, goodbye.